Welcome everyone, today we have another Underlord game. In this game, Underlord tries something very fancy. So we've seen it before with our friend during the viewers game. He actually tried four trolls and four savages, and this was incredibly powerful because the trolls attack fast, savages give you more attack damage, and this is looped back on itself. You also have a pretty durable team with the summons, and really good focus fire with lots of range units. So, let's see how we go. We're also going to add the insects, and we're going to add a few more. So I am going to need a tank, so Jamal will help. Coco says I'm trying to figure out how to up the element damage. Yes, the element damage with the Wilson summons build will be interesting, but the thing is you have to pick one. It's either you're going for full summons, I think, or you go for a bit of supportive part as well. Now as for Underlord, because we're going for chores, we can use the Chaos Ladder again. Uh, I don't need anything else. Oof, are we going for knights? I'll go for savages. I don't take Luna. Tiny and Chaos Knight are optional. Because what I really want to do is get deep into savages with Tusk Magnus. That's a startup. We can get a Druid with Magnus and go deeper. Since I'm just running a losing streak, I don't need a strong unit at the start. What I need is by round 10, I need at least 2 or 3 2 stars and just to not lose after round 10. Not too badly. Now, if you notice, I decorated the place a little bit. I mean, those, those golems supposed to look in the middle, right? But this one is not looking right. <laughs> there's a little teacup place, this little... <laughs> there's two of my little birds for the decoration. And yeah, this is my little place. <laughs> Here's uh, going full summoners. Yes, oh, I see. Yeah, full summoners is interesting. I definitely want to try it out. Now, just know, welcome, buddy. Let's play the game with knights and they seem stronger in the meta than they have been in the past. Yes, knights do feel quite solid in the mid game. They do fall off in the late game, but if you can balance it out, maybe with the chores or maybe with something else to pack them further, they can take you that game if you get a 3 star, for sure. Think of keeping the Chaos Knight. Yeah, I'll probably keep the Chaos Knight. I'm not sure about the Dazzle. Oh, I don't buy him. Yeah, I don't buy him. Ah, perfect. Got Magnus. So why did I keep the Chaos Knight is that I might get a 2 star Chaos Knight and just dominate the game before I get my whole combo with the Savage Red Chores and the battle that works wonderful with Chaos Knight. Reduction to damage is about 30% by having 2 of them. So he can be my tank and also damage that. I wouldn't mind having a Legion, but that means I need a Chaos Knight. I don't think that's a great idea, but we can buy her. Well, there you go, found a Chaos Knight. Perfect. Definitely buying the Witch Doctor, buying the Chaos Knight. Tiny is definitely gone. Legion is probably gone. Yeah, it's hard to force a build, so I'm picking valuable units. I want to make a tier list first, so the best units for tier 1, tier 2, etc. So that can almost fit in most of the teams. Later, if I want to sell Chaos Knight, I only lose 2 gold, I think. Let's go here. Got a Magnus, and also a Trim Protector, also a Tusk. I'm trying to get my gold over 10 as well for the economy. Notice I already have pretty much three two stars by round five, which is really good for the losing streak. Yes, they're getting higher streaks than me. I'm earning a little lower gold, but it's more sustained. Currently, I'm on 25 gold and they are on 27. This will get closer as we go deeper with more gold. No worries, Koga. Happy to help. And once I get more insights to summoners, I'll make the guide for us. I'll make some replays for us as well. This is for Watson. And, ooh, interesting. I mean, this one could go a long way, I reckon. I don't think there's anything that's better than Clock. And now we also need something that's durable for the team. Because Trolls and Savages are really good with damage. Oof, don't need any of that. That's a little unfortunate. Don't need those two. I don't have to sell them. There's no reason I'll buy those. So the runs, Magnus is okay. Tiny is definitely gone. Legion is probably gone next round. I'll make 20. Tusk is optional, just so I can have the early savages before I find my tanking. And luckily I'm not losing too much HP, because, you know, sometimes like this, oh, we lost 6. Because <laughs> Ember Spirit costs 2 there. So usually I'm hoping I don't lose too much HP. By round 10, we're looking at about 65 or 60 HP, and that should be just enough. Just now I said I had 3 star Chaos Knight and Luna, oh boy, <laughs> damn, those were the powerhouse for the knights. If you played auto chairs, those are called the daddy carry and the mummy carry, <laughs> they're basically the carries for the knights that kills everything. Those are so strong, those two. Chaos Knight is a demon and Luna is so strong. 
this is a little awkward. I can't use the Beastmaster, and I don't plan for warriors. We rather can work with this end king. I believe he's gone for sure. <clears throat> Not bad, he's. Before the Laundrid, it's the best one to have Trim Protector. This is a better form of tank, healing, and the damage dealer. Remember, is awkward. I'm happy to sell her for gold because I won't be getting void anytime soon. But have you guys heard that the Brute Mother's Spiderlings actually works with Savages? So if you got six Savages and the Spiderlings comes out, they get a tremendous damage. I want to try it out. So if I make the chores work, I'll try out the Brute Mother with the Spiderlings. That's actually going to be a fancy build. I did put up a Hunter build. Yes, my friend just now, I did post, post a Hunter build and I plan to post another Hunter rank build first. And definitely check it out, it will be coming soon. Uh, I don't need any of that. I did make to my gold. And yeah, they keep PS me. <laughs> like, hey, let me on. So, 71%. I can try to put one or two units down. <laughs> Just to try to kill enemy. I think I'll do those. I don't want to be too strong. This is just strong enough to kill one or two, I reckon. So now the question is, do I want to level up for higher rates or do I want to stay where I am? I'm not desperately leading a lot of the one stars, so I'm gonna level up first. So this way my rates goes further, and then I use my free roll. Hopefully get something better. I gotta make this. Hey, did we kill one? I killed one, right? I killed the enemy Blastica. <laughs> I heard the kaching kaching <laughs> with this sword hitting the Chaos Knight. Yeah, I think you definitely enjoyed the hunter builds just now. There is a hunter with savages, a hunter with warriors, hunter with you know combination of scaled, very nice. I'll be posting more hunter guys as well. Hunter builds. As for guides, it will take me a week, I think, to get really deep into the game to give you guys some good insights. And after that, we'll make a guides for builds, tierless items, and also alliance. As usual, I already look for tierless stuff. So, oh, and there's a Magnus. Oh boy. The game wants us to have 3-star Magnus by the looks of it. Uh, at this rate, I think I don't need the Dazzle. But he will be a part of the troll team. Very awkward. Hmm. I think people are strong enough for me to have another unit up. <laughs> oh, look how cute is that? It's a tiger body that's in that shape. Oh no, he might lose to me. <laughs> I might have position too well against him. Because Kia's like so strong. Okay, if you kill the Bat Rider, I think I should lose. Am I actually losing? I'm losing, right? Good. <laughs> Am I losing? I better lose. Oh no, we chucked some cars and we're gonna win. Don't let we chuck the cars. Oh gosh, we, we won. Wait, wait, do we win? We don't win, right? <laughs> I'm too focused there. Uh, I don't need any of that. Oh, we, we won. Damn. This is the awkward part. I thought I was weak enough, but turns out he's much weaker. I wanted to lose one more run. So that will maximize my income. Look at this. I started lower than everyone. Now I'm actually on par with everyone's economy at 71. Very powerful. So yeah, net worth shows you the total amount of gold you've earned without the spending. Ah, losing. No, winning there means I lost. <laughs> so awkward. Need to get better with my balances, right? Yeah, I don't get a free roll here. Very unfortunate. I'll be leveling up. Get those two down. The tree can get this one. Chaos the knight can get this one. And oh boy. And who got a kill? Oh, the Chaos Knight got a kill. I should swap items around. Don't worry, my I'm on the train. Protect this, not bad. And I might level up again very soon. Because I have another 3-star waiting. <laughs> If only I got more 2 stars, I'll be unstoppable. Right now, I'm just between super powerful and unstoppable. Because <laughs> I'm like, you know, <laughs> 3 2 stars, we get one more very soon. Just with the Bat Rider, the Chaos Knight is a godly tank. I'm really hoping he gets some kills. He's only on 5. 6 now. Oh, the Chaos Knight's buffed by Magnus, just like the Dota 2 games we have. <laughs> so now, Chaos Knight definitely takes a cloak, makes it more useful. As for the rest of it, give armor to Magnus. Ooh, let's have a look. Who do I need to play to make more out of it? Let's try Thor. I haven't tried Thor for a while. No, <coughs> let's try Thor. Maybe not the strongest, but it'll be interesting. Okay, that's Magnus. I'm win, lucky. <laughs> so, unfortunately, I can't use the tide. The goal is to go with savages and trolls. 
and that's what I'll be keeping. So Koko says testing the poison stacks. I don't know if poison is the best way to go with summons, but I need to check out, you know, more research for that. Hey there, Zap. Chess from Brazil, enjoying the season? Yes, loving season one, my friend. Loving it. It's so lovely. Uh, this Trim Protector has the Vanguard. We have additional health on the Chaos Knight and I'm on the Magnus. Really good tank team. And the 6 should likely in throw a unit. Okay, we got a Blastica. Which is pretty awkward because he doesn't cast spells as a demon. He's a demon Blastica. He dies so fast. Is he, is he dead? No, he's still here. Wait, he's still here? He's strong. <laughs> So the idea is having more demons on the team means Chaos Knight does more damage. Look at this, 500, 1000 plus damage. <laughs> Incredible, right? There's more insights of the game I want to share with you guys as we play. I think that will be really helpful. And it will really boost your game, like, you know, enjoyability and a lot of paths to the game. <laughs> so, we already have the chores. And look at this done. For another two star. It's like a support buff in Magnus. Which Doctor or oh, Shadow Shaman? Which Doctor is better for the stones though? Oh, look at this guy! <laughs> Little Betty. By two rounds, we level up again because we're pushing for long drill, we're pushing for high tier units. Eventually, we got Troll, Warlord, and Sanky. That's the ultimate team fight. Look at this Chaos Knight, 2800 boss. <laughs> oh, we kill this one? We kill this one, we win here, guys. Why? Oh, we killed it. Yes, we win. <laughs> it's a demon. First of all, one of the strongest. Look at his damage. Because when he casts, he gets more damage. It's incredible. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at it. The 1.5k there. <laughs> oh gosh. Inthor feels really good this patch. It goes early and you actually get to kill a unit. That's right, Blankty. And there's no armor to deny them. Absolutely, I agree with you. <laughs> hey there, more green. Welcome and welcome, Black Zero. I'll probably pray that with this one. Yeah, Inthor is so powerful, right? It's minus 10 armor. And usually seeing saw the closest unit. The only downfall is if enemies like, like assassin like Sanking or something that blinks the backline, seeing those and they get away, then it's wasted. Other than that, it's really good. We might get something that's strong like Magnus, Axe, or even a Blastica. We'll probably throw the Blastica here, I reckon. No, which one do we throw? Let's have a look. Just a little slow. We're gonna get the Venom. Venom's not bad. <laughs> Killed me on one shot. <laughs> Yeah, the Thormax, the Chaos Knight of God. Look at this. 1000 damage. <laughs> so strong, right? Okay, level. Kamin says, watching on the stream, and the only the Savage build is the Mantis still now. Uh, I'm not a big fan of rushing for ranking and just repeating the same build. Here, what I'm doing is. Oh, my Golems died. Oh, my Golems died. <laughs> my statue Golems, they all died, guys. <laughs> I'm not a fan of rushing the same build, to be honest. I'm always here for fan builds. And I can see there's no mages. I probably don't need mango tree. So I'm gonna roll once. Also, a brute is awkward. Maelstrom is not bad. Why should you... oh, I click quickly, right? I was gonna say Maelstrom is not bad because Bad Rider can use it. And his Napalm stacks them, and the Maelstrom procs will be amplified by the Napalm damage. So that means you're zapping enemies for like. How much? Is it like 7 times 4? Four? It's 480 more damage with the Lightning. So it's actually not bad. Yeah, I'm not a fan of, you know, forcing a build, you know, it's pretty strong for Savage right now, but there's always other things to go. Yes, I'm trying Savages, but it's a different format, and always, you know, something testing. And we're not going for rank just to rank up. That's the biggest difference, I feel. Have an empty spot on the board? Oh, you're right. Oh, that's a pretty level. <laughs> Took me too long to decide the items. I'm sure be strong enough. You're also strong. So like a warp box. Look at that. Can I pop the box? No, I can't. This is his board. This is not my board, actually. Almost lost here. <laughs> Did I even throw a proper unit? I don't know, actually. If you click objects on your map, you interact. Like wood box, if you break it, you click several times. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Oh, I broke this one. Cool. And then the Shadow Shaman is really good. So for now, I'll get the Warlock thing. Nothing too special. We'll be leveling up. We want to roll level 8 because this gives us the legendary units, Troll Warlord, and also Sanking. Also, high chance for Long Druid. The best time to roll is actually at level 9, which has the highest you know, combination of tier 4 and tier 5. 
They still call them ace units. They haven't changed that. You should call them legendary or tier 5. Gears Knight is on 17 kills for the boss. Her mother is like a delayed support. Because she doesn't do web anymore. It's like so awkward. Look at this. <laughs> she just shoots at that enemy and th that's all. We kill the, we kill the Magnus, we win here. No, we too slow. We couldn't kill the Magnus. I think we lost. Damn. I was going to pop my win streak too. What am I on? I'm on six win streaks. Almost there. I don't have to force a level up, I think. I used to free roll to my advantage. That's a big loss though. That was the undefeated player. Dazzle is awkward. I mean, I can use him. But to what end? I'm planning for the troll a lot. He's just here as a zap shoot. So I don't think I will use him actually. And for this run, what I'll do is I won't use the free roll. I'll wait for the run to start, and I'll level up, and I'll use the free roll. This gives me level 8 free roll. So let's have a look at this. Free roll ones, or cut up Medusa <laughs> and a trip reactor. I want a long dread and other ones. So the amount of kills on our unit makes it strong for the next run. Uh, only for Chaos Knight, because he has the item that gives you more health each time you kill a unit, and it stacks up. So the more kills he's got, the more HP he's got. He's on 3,400 HP because of that. Coconut kills them all, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's a really strong tank building item. And with Chaos Knight who hits for like a thousand with the demons, it's even better. I'll buy the train protector, but I'd rather replace him with the long dread. So Tass is going to move away because Tass is awkward. Who else is going to come? Mm, probably Lycan, right? You'll probably get Lycan. Yeah, he's a Lycan. I hope not. Yep. Uh, well. Let's have a task. And I can put one more, of course. So what I'll do is... i get the full functional trolls in. <laughs> you want me that's run there. Looks like a LC build. Without LC, you mean my build? <laughs> Interesting, right? We got the trolls in, now we're looking for the savages. Uh, there is Lycan. Lots of Lycan. Who is that lifesaver, too? I'm gonna install this one, I bet you. If he installs this one, I think I can kill it. And this is a great benefit for us. This person is so strong here. Oh, he got my tears that Oh, gosh, that's not with me. Uh, we're focusing now. That's not bad. Look at this person. A thousand damage person, guys. One punch person. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> yeah, I should crit it. It's going still a thousand punch. <laughs> it's also so strong, right? 17k damage. Bristol has the shortest CD for most units and he hits very hard as a base damage. So he's incredibly strong if you get him. I think attacks over edge. Yeah, it's attack speed, it's a bit of everything. If I roll, I might not get something better. Master Menace is the best roll here. Hmm, who should I give it to? That's a question. Not really a candidate. That's good. I could buy the Bristol before I find my, my dress off my game. Okay. Oh boy. Got this upgrade, guys. Looking good. Uh, this one's gone. So, perfect. So we got the laundry in. We also got the summoners with the whole team. Very strong. I should put NS6 in the corner. That protects her. <laughs> in Thor's Ziki, double demon doesn't work though, I think. As long as Bad Rider's behind the Chaos Knight, he's a godly tank. Laundry is really good too. Look at this Chaos Knight. 30% <laughs> damage reduction, 3.4k HP. Gosh. Oh, he's getting a fellow knight. <laughs> he got Abaddon on his team. We're a knight team now. <laughs> oh, look at this. How much does he lose? He lost 18. Let's click on a few things. If I don't lose, I don't think my golden dies. They stay alive. Hey there, X guy. Well, come buddy. We're almost there for the build, guys. One more thinking. I think I buy those. I want to roll for the two stars and also. Uh, <laughs> I found it. <laughs> Awkward. But not bad, right? Yep, now I'm gonna level up. Because it's pointless for me to roll for 3-star Shadow Shaman Bear Rider. And there's nothing really I need to 3-star. I'm gonna replace Dazzle. I want the Sand King. So it's the best time I level up. <laughs> of 
course I'm gonna wait for the curve. Though. <laughs> At least I'm Magnus here. <laughs> Longer still wants that. Oh, that's high. Okay, we're gonna need to hide that actually. No, we're getting the Ember here. Ember's not bad. Because he hits very hard as a demon. The Blastica though, <laughs> mine's down. Chaos Knight just dashed him for like half of his life there. Look at this, a thousand damage Chaos Knight. Dang. <laughs> oh, that Ember though. That demon Ember. <laughs> so many combos, guys. <laughs> Loving it. The goal is to get 4 Savages and 4 Trolls, and with the power boost of Sanking and Troll Lord, we have a very solid again. We also get the Warlocks, and also the Insects, and also the Druids. One of the strongest builds I can think of. Don't need Dazzle. And I'll still be doubling up. I can try to level up this run. Because I can sell the Shadow Charm and Ember Rider. What should I see? Don't have a win streak. Who will be a contestant? Blastica with Bloodbond is very strong, indeed, my friend. Uh, let's see, I don't see anything special. Yeah, he's going for Savage and Summoners. I tried it versus Savage and Summoners, I think we're the stronger one. You know, <laughs> 3.6k Chaos Knight here. And a 4.4k <laughs> Magnus. I think we're definitely the stronger one. Everyone gets the cleave from Magnus. <laughs> Look at Magnus, top 1 damage. <laughs> it's cleaving for dear life. This is when your support magnus goes carry and it works. Level. Up. No bad off a curve, and this means I can add one more. This might not be the best one. Also, level 9 is what we want. Maximum rates for tier 4 for the long druid, and the highest rates for the ace unit before level, you know, before level 9. Perfect calculation. So result does not do much to be honest. Okay, that's absolutely nothing. Get on the back right in because bad riders do stack with each other. What that's gonna mean is the bad riders actually support the other bad rider and they both enjoy the stacks of Napalm. Also, it's a knight. Those two just here to die. Yeah, positioning wise, we defend against assassins as well. The bad riders stick next to each other, they also protect you this way. Damn. That next stun is food. <laughs> this Viper got trapped. Assassins can't deal with us. Ammo is a really good assassin underlord because people tend to bulk up as against assassins and ammo catches them with a stun and it's perfect with faces slow void and with you know more stuns with the assassin team. Summons a weak mid game. Six savages can make them strong. Yes. So they will fall off with all the 6 savages, but if they get a 6 savage, they're pretty strong. I don't think I need anything here, I'm looking for the Venomir. I don't find the Venomir, but I get the 2 really good items. I go for the Moonshot, because I want the Trollot to have that attack speed. Trollot don't like damage, you see. And the Evasion is not that much needed. Because he won't be attacked anytime soon. Uh, that's a little awkward. I'm supposed to find something here, guys. Okay, found one. Perfect. Okay, that's all. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Trolla goes right to the safest path. I'm gonna make the. This is a right angle formation. I'm gonna make a square formation. This means my units are more bulked up. I'm gonna adjust formation. And now we just need two more savages. Look at this attack speed. Oh boy. <laughs> that is Trolla. Trolla's a little stuck. I should swap him with Anisix. I don't think there's any patch here. Yeah, no patch. So we're really free. Okay, only get stronger. That's the thing. <laughs> With savages, this build is so complete. You can take the other path of going for savages first and the trolls, but here we just happen to find the trolls further and quicker. So what we do is we do it this way. Put the baroness behind them. Oh, perfect. Ah, uh, three sash shadow shaman could work. Mm, don't need those. Show what out. Okay, <laughs> don't need the Bursa, I think, but I should keep the Bursa, just so I have something. The Troller is definitely better. And we're gonna give the Troller the attack speed, and that's all. So those are optional. Bursa is just here to complete that lines. Liking will be a little better, but nothing too special. 
There isn't that great a lot of these savages for us as the fourth choice. So much damage. Ridiculous, right? <laughs> this is before they become trolls like. Demon X. I think the savages are likely gonna get enough, but before that, there's so many combinations of them. And the damage factor, I think eight may be too much. Maybe make a four for make a half for the units that's not savages, that may be better. Because right now they're doing a little too much. So I went from the bottom to top two. This is the player that had a big win streak, close to 20 wins. Oh, 20 wins and two losses. He has with the Savage and Summoners. Ooh, don't try to have it. That's good. Mmm, that can screw. I don't think I'm getting that barrier, right? Thank you, Yagnov. Thank you, thank you, buddy. And Love from Australia, my Russian friend. Thank you, thank you. So he's been almost unstoppable by the start, but I think once we complete ourselves, we should be a contestant against him. Oh, this friend's in trouble. <laughs> His name is saying Chinese, like, please finish me off. <laughs> now look at this disruptor, poor guy. <laughs> Magnus 3 star, that's so good. Because he buffs you for 80% of your base damage and 80% cleave. And with the Chaos Knight that's hitting for a thousand, well, I think it's interesting. Ideally, you don't need a Chaos Knight here, and you don't need double troll a lot, so having the... Oh, where's my Lycan go? Is there a bad Lycan? Oh, he's here. Having the Lycan and having the Sand King will give us the Savage at level 9, which should be enough. Hmm, should I just buy those two and use it? Now, I like my Chaos Knight, right? Perfect. So. I kind of want to keep the Chaos Knight, to be honest. So what we're going to do is... We'll just level up next round. <laughs> so I love the new patch as well. I know, it's lovely. I don't think I'm getting about right there. Shadow Shaman and Chaos Knight are very optional. Lycan is just another human, which we don't really use. And Lycan is just another summoner. That's all. Because himself is a savage, his summons are so benefit as a savage. So they don't have to have six savages as a special savage. So is Laundred. Laundred Bear is a savage. That means he benefits from normal attacks if he actually attack. Oh gosh, he's got two bears. <laughs> two mighty bears. How many level up here if I lose? This is the number one player. Look at him. Okay. That's a demon like I was like, how do I like have a lichen? <laughs> uh that level up? Let's level up. Oh I miscounted. Oops. <laughs> I'll level up next round. Because I actually have to go next round. I can roll for something better. There you go. Venomy is definitely top tier. It's like tier... How should I say? It's like a tier 4.5 for me. That's how good it is. Oh, we even got this. I'm not going to take him. I'm actually selling them for gold. I'll sell the Canadian Snipe for gold as well. And I'm going to take back one troll lot. Andrew can be here. This one, oof. I probably should give something else. So now I have the whole build. The build is complete, and also I savage about a bit of gold back. I wanted 10 gold at least, so I don't lose a lot of interest. This Brumada has a death wish. Old Brumada is okay, new Brumada is not a good. Oh, look at this troll, guys. <laughs> this is the troll slug. <laughs> Basically, how you turn your trolls into a slug. <laughs> so powerful. Died before a blink of her eye. Yes, I can go for more and more summoner, but I don't think I need a 20% additional damage with summon units. And I think this is fine. What we're gonna do is. Those two can be like this. Maybe Barrett can be here. Who's more survivable? Which doctor is, right? Much better. So this is like a square formation kind of. Square right angle formation. I'm gonna sell this Shadow Shaman. I'll make back to 20 gold. Really good control for economy. I know Dev, I think it's GG. So notice what they're building. They're building lower tier units like Fury and Tusk. And Venom as a 3 star is not as strong as well, I feel. And I'm going for more high tier units. The moment I find the rest of my units will be even stronger. But even before that, <laughs> this guy has 34 kills. So he starts with 2.2k HP. Let's see how much he ends. That's why I don't want to sell him. 
Hey, it's close to 4k. <laughs> Almost doubled. This is a good defensive against access information, sir. His ammo did not even survive the first rally. Anesis is protected, that's pretty good. Downside is she doesn't get a summon, so I swap her with the Shadow Shaman next time. Gosh, he died to 26. <laughs> Let's see how the other guy go against us. I don't think he's ready. No, he's not ready. <laughs> 23. <laughs> oh gosh. One of the most powerful builds. You don't have to be level 10. Just tech back the Chaos Knight and you're perfect. Mm, don't need off that. Gonna roll it. It's gonna die next round. Nah, he won't die. So we noticed NS6 couldn't get the demon out, so we're gonna move her compared to the Shadow Shaman. We'll move those two. I should just roll right. Nah, we'll give him one more run. We'll roll next round. We're looking for Lycans and King Brumada Traveler. And Nordred. So much room for upgrade. He's level 8, I'm level 10. I don't think no about a position can save him. Maybe a 3 star starter? What should I see? <laughs> oh, we're all stuck here for some strange reason. My unit's not moving. Okay, they're moving forward. As long as they oh, we'll get, a, we'll get a demon tide, that's really good. We got a demon tide? We win? It's a GG. Nothing really kills demon tide because he's so tanky. Look at his armor. Because he takes the enemy's warrior builders, he takes everything. Damn. Uh, I think about the ba unbalanced part, it's fine, it's a new season. Get a few fine factors in, just have fun with it. Don't worry about balance too much until maybe a week or two in. And by then, developers would have it ready for us anyways. So we're gonna roll for everything because it's gonna die. I should have picked the Chaos Knight. Don't need Shadow Shaman at all. I think. Oh gosh. Ah, <laughs> uh, no more. Yep, that's all guys. That's all he said. <laughs> it's over. I don't think anyone beats us at this moment. <laughs> this is like so incredibly strong. So we're only missing the liking and sinking here. Oh gosh, this is a 4.2k Chaos Knight. I'm oh, sorry. This is a starter 4.2k. Chaos Knight is dead. <laughs> the Chowala though. This is the Chostak. I got a tide again. Chostak is not that high on damage. It's only on 700, 800 damage. Just <laughs> like, <laughs> damn, GG, well played, right? So if you want one of the top meta builds, I do believe this is very strong and very powerful. So if you want something that's kind of a little overpowered even in the current meta, consider the chores and the savages. I could occur with the savages first with Tusk, Bristleback, and Magnus, and also with Lycan, and then I transition into the Dondred and Senking. I could do that, but this time we kind of went the other way. The trolls came more and we just went with the trolls. The losing streak helped me to find Magnus and we even got further because we had so much gold. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll make more fun builds to come as well. Thank you, thank you guys.